Hi, welcome to the Piano Ensemble Recital. The students of the class will be featuring works by famous composers such as Bach, Mozart, Tchaikovsky, Brahms, Respighi, and Fauré. This year has been a challenging one, but this did not hinder us from performing for you all. Thank you for being with us. Enjoy the show. Johann Christoph Friedrich Bach was a prominent harpsichordist. He is the fifth son of the famous Johann Sebastian Bach. He was an industrious composer whose work reflects no discredit to the family name. He has written extensively for the keyboard and also has works for chamber music, for orchestra, and for voice. His works are considered to be in the style of high baroque and some in the style galant, or can be a combination of two. For our first piece, we will be performing the first movement of Johann Christoph Friedrich Bach's Sonata for Four Hands in A Major, W13-1.
Mozart's Sonata in D Major K381 for Piano Duet is a classic sonata allegro form in a pattern of fast, slow, fast. In the first movement, the orchestral style can be heard clearly as it begins with a full 2T chord. Then it succeeds with strutting fanfare unisons, skipping melody and accompaniment, and repetitive phrases. The entire sonata has a distinct feature, which is the usage of just two contrasting dynamic markings, the forte and the piano. This piece was first performed during the classical period around 1760s when Wolfgang and his sister Nannerl were touring around Europe as child prodigies, and piano duet was a popular thing. The Nutcracker was one of the three ballets that Tchaikovsky composed and worked on. The ballet was based on Alexander Dumas' adaptation of E.T.A. Hoffman's Nutcracker and the Mouse King. Though the ballet, particularly the narrative and choreography, was initially unsuccessful in both the audience and critic reception, Tchaikovsky's music was highly appreciated and praised. So he arranged selected music numbers from the ballet to fit in a suite, which he performed just before the ballet premiere and piqued the audience's interest. The suite is called the Nutcracker Suite of the 71. The Nutcracker Suite has remained popular ever since its release, which has prompted many people to arrange it for different instrumental ensembles. For this wonderful holiday, 
we would be performing two pieces from the Nutcracker Suite, The Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy, and The March of the Toy Soldiers. Please enjoy and have a wonderful, magical Christmas.
The Brahms Hungarian Dances is a set of 21 piano duet pieces composed by Johannes Brahms. It is a collection of dance style pieces inspired by Hungarian folk music, where the dances seem to have varying playful tempi. For our next piece, this Hungarian dance contains a swing-like melody with a playful theme set in the key of F major. It starts in a moderately slow pace to initiate a dance-like pattern where it slowly increases in speed until it reaches the main tempo, which is Allegretto. This pattern goes on throughout the whole piece, exuding a playful fast, slow, fast structure, taking inspiration from the dance style of the Gypsies. This is the Hungarian dance number seven. Torino Respighi was one of the leading Italian composers of the early 20th century. His works include operas, ballets, orchestral suites, and chamber music, including piano duets. One of his compositions is called Sei Pezzi per Bambini. It is a set of six pieces for four-hand piano. The pieces that we are about to play are Canta di Caccia Siciliano, which translates to Sicilian hunting song, and the na Natale Natale, which is a piece about Christmas. Hope you enjoy our performance. Thank you. 
Gabriel Fauré was one of the most influential French composer of his generation. He was best known for his Requiem and Pavan. One of his compositions is the Dolly Suite, Opus 56. It consists of six short pieces for piano duet written or revised between 1893 and 1896. These were written to mark the birthdays and other events of the life of Dolly, the daughter of his mistress, Emma Bardock. Today, we shall be playing the first and the second movement of the Dolly Suite. The first piece, entitled Bersus, was presented to mark Dolly's first birthday. It was composed in 1864 during his studies. The second piece, entitled Miau, was composed for her second birthday. The title Miau shows an approximation of how Dolly pronounced her brother's name Rao. Is she Au or Miau in sort? Sit back, relax, and enjoy the performances.
We've reached the end of the program, but before we let you go, the Piano Ensemble class would like to greet all of you a Merry Christmas.
begins with full tutti chord, then succeeds with Hi, Vittorino Respighi was one of the leading Italian composers of the early, early yet, early yet century. I'm <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Then succeeds with strutting. Strutting fanfare. Thank <laughs> you.